All right, good morning, gentle peeps. So I wanna make a broadcast because right now it is five degrees, five degrees outside. And I understand, you know, you come outside and you wanna play in the snow and it's fun for a time, but eventually you're gonna warm up. Dogs, they dogs, they love, they love to be in the snow. They love to play outside in the cold, but it's five degrees. How long would you leave a dog outside? Whether you're chained up, um, again, they can stay out here several hours and that's fine because they're used to the cold, but humans aren't and dogs nowadays are not. You know, you think about, you're out here for a couple of hours, how cold you get. I'm only out here a few minutes and like I said, it's five degrees. So what I want to do was talk about a lady who commented on uh, one of our posts in uh i think it was under norman community live stating that we need to mind our own business because uh, dogs have lived outside for you know centuries and stuff i agree at times they did so did humans eventually we built fires eventually we built places to stay in and eventually as the time progressed and we became smarter we allowed our animals to come in when the weather's below 30 degrees, below 15 degrees, below 10 degrees. Right now it's five degrees. I'm not saying dogs need staying in all the time. You know, our dogs, you know, our house dogs, but they come out and play and they come back in the house and there are dogs that stay outside. And I have no problems dogs staying outside. The problem I have is dogs staying outside when it's below 10 degrees or when it's above 100 degrees. You know, chances of them, I'm gonna, I posted a picture you saw of a puppy that was in an igloo that was with straw and it froze to death okay so that's not that's not the cure you know an igloo and straw is not the cure um, I wish it was you know I would feel, feel fine if that was the case that the dogs have not died same as the same as a human staying outside in these kind of temperatures even with all this on, I'm still freezing to death right now. It's five degrees out here. And uh, and I can't keep them even halfway warm, you know, by bundling up. I've got four layers of clothes on. <clears throat> Our dogs love to play out here. And they'll hang out here for several hours, but after that, they want to come in because they're cold. They're cold. And, you know, it's the same thing if a dog stays out there all night long. As a matter of fact, my littlest one's trying to get in the house right now. She's had enough already. She's a puppy. She's one. But I hope everybody goes on there and finds that post. If you want to know where that post is, let me know in the comments. And I will, and I will direct you to the post where the two ladies pretty much said that we need to mind our own business. Um... I am minding my own business. I'm minding my business about taking care of animals. The fact that nobody else seems, you know, they need to go onto a community service page and, and tell us to mind our own business, that we want to take care of dogs or animals that are out in the cold. Again, I understand that dogs can take a lot more cold than we can, but again, it's five degrees out here right now. How long do you sit out in five degree weather how long would you allow your dog, your animal, to sit in five degree weather? Uh, again, it's early. By the way, happy Valentine's Day. Um, I just really just, it kind of just perturbed me that someone would go on a page where we're talking about helping animals um, and comment the fact that we need to mind our own business. Um, you know, it's kind of people like that that say, you know, someone else is teenagers are on the streets because they don't have a home and don't have nowhere to sleep. We need to mind our own business. We don't need to help teenagers who are out without a home on the streets. Homeless people right now, don't worry about them. Just leave them out there. Don't bring them blankets. Don't bring them nothing. Let's just mind our own business. You know, kids who are getting beaten, you know, as what I'm a my years of law enforcement, I should have just minded my own business and not helped kids who were getting hurt. You know, same thing with, you know, animals, they're not fed. Animals who are tied up, animals who are abused, 
we should just mind our own business. You know, it's, it's, this is not a society where you just mind your own business when something bad is happening to a person, a teen, a kid, a dog, a cat, an animal. You know, if an animal, is, uh, if a deer is stuck in a, some kind of wrapping with barbed wire around them, I've seen videos of people helping rescue deers and animals out of, you know, things that they've gotten caught in. in and, you know, those guys didn't mind their own business. I've seen them rescue bears and stuff out of, you know, things that they've gotten trapped in. And, uh, you know, the bear and the animals are wild and they will, they will, they will, you know, fight to protect themselves. But again, people don't mind their own business. I'm proud, very proud of the ladies who did not mind their own business and went out and helped get dogs out of the cold. It's just, it's just irritating to me that anybody would tell you to mind your own business when you're trying to do something good for the community, trying to do something good for animals, trying to do something good for anybody. And it just, it just, I cannot understand and fathom, you know, that you, you want to sit in your warm house and you want to be on social media telling people who are getting out in the cold and helping animals, helping people and telling them to mind their own business. Um, I just, it just blows my mind because where's it start at? Oh, I'm not going to help this one dog. Okay. I'm not going to help this one cat because they're an animal. You know, I'm not going to help this one wild animal is stuck because it's just an animal. It's, it's supposed to be outside. Uh, I'm not, next thing you know, you're not going to help people in the street who need help. Um, I'm not saying everybody needs help. You know, there are people who help themselves. Animals can help themselves, but an animal cannot help itself if it's chained to a chain in a yard and it cannot help itself if it's, you know, out in the weather and all it has is a tiny little igloo with some straw, that animal cannot help itself. Yes, at times when, back in the day when animals were loose and animals were on farms, they were able to go and go places that they could get warm because that's the, the kind of thing that they were used to. But dogs nowadays are not used to that. You know, this is a time in society when we are allowing animals to have better uh, homes than they did back in 50, 60, 100 years ago. And just the fact, again, I'll put it, I'll see if I can post, but leave a comment below if you want to see the ladies who commented on our, our social page uh, on here on Facebook that told us we need to mind our business. The dogs belong, they're fine outside, they look fine, and yet, you know, you're sitting home and, and posting uh, hate stuff to, to people who are just trying to help. You know, uh, so many, so many people are very nice and helping and I appreciate every one of them that got out in this weather. Again, it's five degrees out here, people. I mean, I don't know how long I can sit out here watching. I can sit here for just a little while. And right now I'm already freezing and I've just been talking. I can't know, maybe five, 10 minutes. <laughs> but again, two ladies to go onto a social page and say, we need to mind our own business. It just, oh, it just irritates me and frustrates me so bad that I had to actually come out here in the cold just to calm down. Um, I posted a picture comment back to the lady of a dead dog in a in an igloo that was, had straw in it and it froze to death again this is five degrees you know some dogs this dog right here loves the cold but i promise you at night time when it gets too cold or it gets too cold during the day he's coming in axel's not staying outside no matter how much he'd love to stay out here he's not going to be able to stay outside all night long He's definitely not chained up, and he definitely has, there's no igloo or straw here because when it gets cold enough, he comes inside. Sometimes you got to make him come inside because he loves to be out here, but he understands also that he is warm and cared for, and it's just irritating to me, these people that say we need to mind our own business. Trust me, if something happened to Axel, and Axel a couple years ago got hit by a car, and several people helped out. I'm glad they didn't mind their own business. I'm glad they helped us out. You know, again, it irritates me. I'll, I'll see if I can figure out how to share that. Cause I'd love for everybody to go there and tell this one lady, she needs to mind her own business and don't worry about that. We're out there trying to help animals. Um, it's just, it's just retarded to me. My legs are numb right now. Um, last time I looked at five, like I said, it's five degrees. It's supposed to get worse in the next few days. You know, you want to come outside? Thank you very much. Axel is a beautiful dog. He's a rescue husky, by the way. Axel was 
was found on the streets um, and Heartland Husky rescued him and my wife rescued him, uh, took him in and he's been with us ever since and uh, he's, he's a mess but he is uh, he's a good dog but uh, again let's see what she says here Yes, yeah, that's right, Rebecca. They all have their limits. It's, it's again, everybody has their limits. There's people, you know, I used to patrol and I worked out in traffic for cold weather. And, you know, after 10 hours of directing traffic out in the cold, I was almost miserably, you know, horribly, you know, cold. And it's, the point is the same thing with a dog. I understand that they're used to, you know, being out in the weather. But, but again, it's a, to the point of are we here to protect them or are we just going to leave them out there? You know, it's, it's, Dogs don't know any better, but you got them on a chain where they can't be social with other dogs because dogs are social. So you have them on a chain, you keep them out in five degree weather, they can only go 10, 15 feet around, and they live in an igloo with straw, and you're saying, oh, that's okay, they're just a hunting dog. Well, you know, a lot of people think dogs don't have feelings, and dogs don't have, you know, brains, and uh, they're just, you know, a machine that you use to go hunting it's, it's that's that's wrong that's totally wrong and a real hunter will tell you that that dog is their is their best friend that dog is out there because they're their mates and i believe a real hunter and i know one my cousin you know and I, i'm not i'm not into hunting but my cousin hunts and guess what his dog stays out when it's co when it's not too cold but when it's cold that dog comes in and that dog is also loved that dog is like his best friend and that's the way it should be if you have an animal that's going to help you, whether it be a service animal, a hunting animal, or just one of your pets, and still it needs to be cared for in the way you would care for your child. Um, you know, there's times that yes, dogs stay outside, and and that's that's fine, but it gets to a point where it's just it's it's just too cold for any animal. And uh, again, I'll go on and I'll post. I'll try to see if I can figure out how to tag people in that comment where you can see with that lady I let like I said I left her a comment and I wasn't very nice I said here's a picture of a dead puppy that was in a igloo with straw and it froze to death and uh, I, just, I don't know how else to tell people you know that I tell her I just like mind your own bit why are you tell me mind my own business if you're not minding your own business getting on there commenting on, on a page where we're trying to we're trying to help people come here ghost come here Oh, this is Kiva. This is Miss Kiva. Oh, thank you, Miss Kiva. And then we got Ghost back here in the back. Come here, Ghost. Where are you at? No, hang on. Oh, there's, uh, this is Ghost. Ghost is a Siberian Husky, and Kiva is an Airedale. And again, look at it. They love it. They love being out here. But again, um, again, they'll be out here for a little while, and I'll stay out here with them because, you know, I care about my animals. Uh, Hey, 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 no fighting. Kiva, Kiva, no fighting. So, but anyway, I want to thank you for watching. Um, I'm going to go in here in a minute. I'll take the dogs in here in a minute. But I just want to just get the point out that it's five degrees outside. And I'm just frustrated that this lady commented that we need to mind our own business. Rebecca, all you that were helping yesterday, go get those dogs. And the ones that have been out, I appreciate everything you do. And uh, I hope that, you know, people like Rebecca and Angie and all these people who help dogs and everything go on there and comment to that lady that told me that we need to mind our own business about helping dogs. It's just, oh, it just irritates me. So I'm just kind of proving a point by sitting out in this five degree weather. My knees are wet and cold. My dog's right here playing. But again, they will, they will want to go in here in a minute because they don't want to stay outside all day long. Now they're fighting. Now they're, hey, come here. Come here, quit fighting. So again, I'm gonna go find that post and see if I want, I'd love for all you to go comment and tell this lady what you think about her and tell her to go mind her own business. Um, it's just, it's just crazy. So again, thank you, Rebecca, Angie, all you people that I see a couple of them that I know that go out and help animals. And I appreciate you all very much. And stop and make sure that you don't mind your own business, you know. Don't, don't let people tell you to mind your own business. Thank you, I'm gonna go away, it's cold. Oh Chris, I missed you, I just seen you enter. You can go back and watch the video, I'm getting off of here, it's too cold.